Welcome back to Local Memphis Live. Local Cares is a proud exclusive television sponsor of this year's Evolve Bank and Trust Cooper Young Festival. All week we are featuring a number of the participating vendors, including our next guest, Christy Bauer. I love seeing all the artwork. She, of course, is an artist and the owner of Pinos Palette on, uh, Palette on Sanderlin. Good morning. Thank you so Welcome. much for coming today. Yeah, we have featured you me. several times already <laughs> yes. on this show. She's yes. trying to teach us how to paint. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't but, know how to do it, but you may, we try. Yeah, you, you may not have known that she is an avid painter herself, an artist. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for Tell having me. Tell us a little bit about your style of artistry. Uh, well, I, um, I do acrylic on, with palette knife. So um, I'll paint a background and then I, um, uh, it goes in stages where I build on top of each layer mm -hmm. and the last layer is with the palette knife and I get my image with the, um, so cool. with the knife. Yeah. Very beautiful work. Can you yeah, tell us you. a little bit about what you brought in today? Uh, yes, this is a 30 by 30. Um, we call this, uh, it's just a willow tree. Um, it's, it's inspired by uh, down by the river and with the Spanish moss. It's very southern. I love it. So mm -hmm. how many layers of paint does it take you to get this image? Uh, I'll start out I paint. You can see the first layer there is the orange um, where I've, I've painted uh, just very loosely watered down. Uh, paint to mm -hmm. get that background layer and then I'll put a um, I'll scrape on with a knife the the next layer to get the sky and and what's going on down at the bottom the last thing I do uh, after I get that I'll, I'll do the tree in and sometimes I'll use a brush with the tree with looser paint uh, and then I start then I get the moss and the you know the very last uh, detail. Wow. Uh, with uh, with a knife. That's a lot. So gorgeous. What about the second painting? That is one I just did uh, just in the last couple of weeks. Um, inspired, I, w I went down to the beach a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, of course. <laughs> and it was just one night watching, you know, just watching the boats out there and it was yeah. a pretty night so we took pictures and you know, I need to paint something. I'm sure it's and very relaxing just, for it you is. to paint while at the beach, of course. That's relaxing yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. Then what about this third painting? Oh, this third painting is just fun. A Memphis, you know, guitar image. Uh, every now and then Ron Olson comes to see us at the, uh, at Pino's. So, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, one night while he was there doing his guitar, I always have to jump in and paint one, so. I love uh, it. And I we love had a lot the gorgeous fun. colors. Yeah. yeah, and that's just, uh, I did it in this much the same way that I do these, but it was a little more loose and a little, little more. And then you said you go back over it with the knife to get some I get knives. I mean, details. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll use whatever is handy, credit cards, knives. <laughs> Anything you, you know, can get forks. your hands on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be a part of this year's Cooper Young Festival? Oh, I've been doing Cooper Young for probably 12 years now. I love, I love Cooper Young. It's one of the best festivals. It's a lot of work. We start out early in the morning. Yes. We've been getting ready for it all week long, but but Saturday morning we'll be over there at 6 o'clock setting up our tents and hanging everything and work all day and then uh, breaking it down Saturday night. So by the time that day's over, we're... Exhausted. <laughs> well, I love these statement pieces, and I'm sure to you they're just completely price priceless. But is there something in, for anyone's budget when they come out to visit your booth? I, yeah, I try to. As a local artist, I really try to price my things. I, I don't want to be um, too pricey for people to enjoy. Right. I, I really like the everyday. I'm an everyday person. I want people to be able to to. Uh, pick up a piece of art and have an original that's not going to break the bank. Um, and yeah. I do that because when I when I was a college student and went to visited galleries, I never could afford anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so totally understandable when you're that's in one college. of the reasons I started painting myself. I'd already, yeah. always drawn and, and done things. But, so um, gorgeous. Yeah, Are you guys so. going to be doing any painting out at the festival or you're just going to hang your work up? I will. I, I try to paint. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll start out in the morning and start, uh, and start painting. And But usually as the day where I, I never complete anything at the festival because it gets very busy right. and I get social and I'm, I can be very chatty. So. I love it. So where exactly are you located? People can find your booth. Um, I am in, uh, I'm right across the street or close to right across the street from uh, Celtic Crossing. Okay, okay. Well, um, And, um, you know, I think that's around Cooper and um, Oliver. 
Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Make sure you go see her. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Give us a close-up look here. All right. Thank you. Well, coming up, we'll be talking cyber harassment and this week's local law segment. And you're invited to take part in the local church's community day. That's all after the break. Stick around.